Yeah, I'm feeling like the man right now. Got me feeling like the whole this time. We don't know what it takes at that uh, type of level. We've got definitely gotten better since last year, and so have they. Yeah, I'm feeling like the man right now. Being physical and not like thinking of last year and not letting that get to us. The climb gets steeper. They're great opponents. We got our hands full. They had an edge last year that we didn't have. Which we have to make plays all the way around. Yeah, I'm feeling like the man right now. As the legendary Yogi Berra used to say, it's deja vu all over again. The right word for the regional round is rematch. Three of the four games involving local teams, actually a repeat of the games we saw this time last year. That is indeed your case in the Highlight Zone Game of the Week. And Andy McDonald joins us now with more. Andy. Hey, thank you, Glenn. Bishop Dwanger hoping to hit blackjack. No team in the state of Indiana has 21 regional titles in football. But with a win tonight, the Saints, yeah, they would claim their 21st. In their path, exactly the same scenario as Glenn said as last season. Undefeated Angola, Dwinger, they won that matchup 34 zip over the Hornets. Could they slow them down or stop the Martin Sa Martin Saints this time around? It's the game of the week out at New Haven High School. Dwinger and Angola in this game. And early on, first play of scrimmage for the Saints. Up top, Brandon Lytle to Patrick Finley. Welcome back, Pat. He was out since week two with a collarbone injury. Next possession for the Saints. Same result. Lytle up top to Patrick O'Keefe. It's 13 to zip real quick. But Angola being stout on the ground. Ryan Grant, the junior, already is an offer from Purdue, tracking down the speedy Devin Tipman. But Dwinger behind Tipman and Tipman and Tipman and Tipman. TJ Tipman into the end zone. 22 0 Saints at intermission. After the half, head coach Jason Garrett urging his team not to let up. Devin Tipman, that is. The D train, 54 yards to the house. He had 22 carries, 234 rushing yards on the day. That'll work. Still in the third, it's Lytle, the sophomore, gaining confidence since he took over in week one. The scramble drill to Patrick Finley. Welcome back, the junior, not to be denied his second TD of the day. It's 40 to 7, the final. The Saints have now beaten Angola 74 to 7 the last two years as to when your advances. Yeah, I felt some rest, you know, it's been a while. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I've been practicing for a couple weeks to get the rest off. But I've known Brendan since like second grade. He's really good friends with my younger brother. He's a great guy, you know. We run routes in the summer. We knew what the first play was going to be. We knew we were going to go D2. And he's like, well, uh, so much for working me back into the offense, just throwing it deep to him. But I don't know. I mean, he's just—he's always positive. He was a little nervous before the game, and I was like, "Just calm down. You're gonna be—you're gonna be fine. Just do your thing." And he did his thing. Angola ends up with a 12 and one season. Incredible season to them. Dwinger, they're 12 and one. They face off against Mishawaka in semis. They, Glenn, back to you.